Good morning, seasonal adventurers. Um, excuse the bed hair. <laughs> I just got up about an hour ago. Um, I'm still in my. I'm sorry. I'm still. I'm here in my hotel room in Toronto. It's day two already. Yep. So tomorrow I'm off to my next destination. But in the meantime, um, I just wanted to fill you in that uh, yesterday when I checked in, I actually got. Uh, that might be backwards. On, let's flip this around. I received upon check-in. I received a a uh, double tree cookie, so that was nice. Um, look at this, a landline phone. <laughs> so I haven't eaten it yet, so there it is. It's a pretty pretty decent sized cookie. Um, and initially, uh, my room didn't have a kettle, so I asked um, at the reception desk, is it possible to get a kettle? And they said yes. So there it is. And um, they use paper cups here, not ceramic cups, which is interesting. Um, yeah, so I've made some English breakfast tea this morning, and I will eat it with the cookie. Um, I don't know if some people do this. I'm gonna dip it in like that. It's too wide to fit into the cup. Mm. Mm. sugary goodness <laughs> so based on my dry run to St. Patrick's tube station or subway is that what they call it here subway station um, I am gonna buy a presto card I know I'm only here for one more day um, but yeah maybe one day when I come back to Toronto I can reuse it and I've already signed up for an account even before I bought the card <laughs> I'm just at the point where I just have to enter the card number. So basically I'm registering the Presto card, which is the, the the transport card they use here in Toronto to get around. I know you could walk around the city and um, I'm still hours early from my first appointment, which you'll find out what that is this morning, which is at 11 a.m. But I'm, advi advise, I'm advised to come at 10.30 a.m. So, yeah. Um, and it's only about, I don't know, 7 a.m. now, so plenty of time so I don't know how busy like because oh no it's Saturday so rush hour probably won't be a thing well that's a good thing yeah I imagine rush hour in Toronto is the same like any major city Monday to Friday but being the weekend um, there should be less people using the, the trains I mean other than tourists I'd imagine okay so so we'll um I'll continue to finish off. I may have a sip of cup of tea, but it's just been made, so it's going to be hot. Oh yeah, I took a sip. That's good. I didn't add any sugar or milk. Um, yeah, so I'll continue having this with my English breakfast, and then I'll buy myself the Presto card, um, which the nearest station here is called. <clears throat> Pardon me, St. Patrick, St. Patrick Subway <laughs> Station which is only a three minute walk from here and yeah I know some a lot of the cafes in the city won't be open but some of them open from 7 a.m. so I might as well hop to it because I felt yeah pretty much the day was gone yesterday um, me and my flight came in from um, from Charlotte like 3 p around 3 p.m. Um, Toronto time and then, you know, faffing about trying to find where the um, UP Express um, terminal was at, at the airport and then getting here and then finding the hotel and, you know, all that rigmarole. It, like I said, it was already after 5, I think, 5 p.m. when I arrived at the hotel. So, yeah, I mean, I knew that. I mean, that was the flight time I chose, so I knew that, you know, more than half the day would be gone by the time I arrived in Toronto. And originally I was only going to come here one day but I've made it two days, so that was a good idea. Yesterday being the day to orientate myself and settle into a new city that I've not been to before. And then today, yeah, like I said, you'll see the appointment I'm going to um, arriving at 10.30 a.m. 
and buying the Presto card and all that sort of thing. So I'm exploring the city today. So yeah, so let me just finish off breakfast. And then and then we'll buy a Presto card and register it properly. Bye for now. Cheers.